It's number 182, Mac Mulenbergia, deer grass. I mean, this is how it looks in the native, natural. But if you cut it back, you'd get this fresh flush of green. And the Indians used to do that because these long flower spikes that would come up, they would make those baskets, weave those baskets when they're more supple. You said this so is deer grass? Deer grass. Mulenbergia. <laughs> Instead, they didn't have television. If we weave a basket, do we get no away? HD. They can get. No HD. No HD. Very invasive, but you can look right one. Fine, put it in a pot. Oh my goodness. Celia? Celia? Mexican feather grass. Mexican feather grass. Um, stipe grass? No. It's a little bit different. How's that different? Well, I have to show you stipe grass. Stipe grass, you know on the California flag? The bear and the grass? That's a stipe. No, it's all over here. Great chain down, look at them. The native, what is the original name? The Mimulus. Uh, the uh, monkey. Mimulus. What are these called? Flower? Flower? Mimulus so hybrid. No, the Mimulus what hybrid is? is over there. Uh, this is the native part. Which, this, is, is this? this is the native one. It's the Mimulus, hybrid is it's still Mimulus. The, the monkey one. Uh, yeah, the, the monkey. Both, one. The monkey. <laughs> they're both monkeys? I don't know. Yeah, I think they're both monkeys. <laughs> so the hybrid version? Yeah, bush monkey flower. What this says. H L O M I S fruticosa. And then this one is what? Is this a gorgeous Yeah. Young one, right? Uh-huh, young one. There's a name on it right there. Gorgeous Suber. What's that? Federal No. That's a buck. Oh, that. Yeah. This is Corcus Suber. This is yeah. Westringia. Fritucosa. Fritucosa. This is Verbena rigida. I just gave you today. That's the pinstone. a native, yeah. Pretty, isn't it? The colors are gorgeous. Probably like to see more rocks right around. It's yeah, between I think, the rocks. Well, yeah. they had it, had it yeah, they trim it because it. That, that actually gives the plant accent. Yeah, it does. With, especially with the rocks. I, yes. I love the bowl. Yeah, it's small. This is the black dahlia. This is Roos Lorina. Roos, no. 
But in the back, we're going to get those. We'll go around. Money on all the like the Nikes, the the and all that. Drives me crazy. Sam Bucca. Sam High Grab. Hey Connor. Here's another Sam Buckus. Trying to find this coffee berry to get to that for her. What is this? This is coffee berry. This is Toffee Berry. What's the mechanical name? Ramos California. What's behind it over there? Ribus Orium. It says Ribus? That's Ribus Orium. Orium. Golden Current. The Golden Current? This is the California Buckeye. Esculus Californicus. California? Californica. So this gets a pretty good sized little tree. Uh, well, it's flower. Galesia. Cecil Pinion Galesia. It's smell when you break that. Hold it. really pretty flower. Very drop tolerant. Most of these plants are all sustainable. These are not quite as the other one. No, here's the other one. This is the... Yeah, it doesn't smell like the Gillespie. Somebody asked me that. Cisalpinia. Is that the Mexican one? This is the Mexican Cisalpinia. Oh, that's the Mexican. Uh, it's got bigger leaves. Cisalpinia Mexicana. Bigger leaves. Bigger leaves. Flowers are way different. This is the bark of the Mexican Cisalpinia. <laughs> what is it again? Verbena Lilicina. Here's Corcus agrifolia. Virgil Cabellari. Oh. Well, I don't know what it's named after. This is Eckham Candy Cans. <laughs> <laughs> they're rural. They're rural, but they are simple. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I would probably give you, I'm sure I'd give you this for the flower. Look what this plant grows. 